Yeah. Hey guys, uh, so this is partly a continued project from a previous hackathon. Uh, so, you know, if I told you I have a company and it advises you on what to do, what not to do about your healthcare, you will definitely not present there because who am I to tell random things about what you should do? Uh, and then if you ask ChatGPT about any specific health question, uh, a lot of times that hallucinates, no matter how much very specific prompt engineering you do, it still hallucinates. And there is no way for you to verify if the answer from ChatGPT is accurate or not. So the only way you can correct this issue is to be able to ground every line in the answer with a specific paper or research work that you can deterministically verify. As long as you have uh, machines to verify, it still has certain uh, degree of uncertainty, and we do not want to allow that in healthcare. So one of the things that we did initially was, when you ask a question, this does a local search solely based on the aging papers, and it tries to answer, and every line in the answer is backed up by source, so you clearly know the source, and you can click on the links and go to them, and figure out uh, what more are they talking about that question. Um, but, and you can ask more complex questions. However, if you ask any question that is not part of the index, uh, it would just not be able to retrieve anything, uh, because the retrieval is done locally, within three layers of search. Uh, that's one of the issues. And the second issue is that uh, once you have a question, let us say the uh, question is to list all the genes that affect aging, and then you've got a list of genes, and you can verify that this is precisely the correct list of genes. So now how do you create drugs that can target these genes? So what we wanted to do is two things. Number one is to create agents, and each of these agents is connected to drug discovery databases uh, on ChemDB and MolDB. So what it does is whenever we have a hypothesis that a specific gene could be targeted by a specific drug, and you go into the database and then see what are all the interactions that specific molecule has had. And then it gives you a list of potential targets for a drug. Uh, that was the agents that uh, we had been uh, setting up, uh, but it is still not fully functional right now. But the second part of this is, uh, despite all of this, we can still answer only those things that are already present in the research papers because we need to be able to ground the answer. So how do you train a model to also uh, come up with its own hypothesis? which has never been discussed in any research paper. So the obvious thing was to uh, fine-tune LAMA. So we fine-tuned uh, LAMA on, uh, using LoRa on, on only the aging papers, and the fine-tuning is still going on. But as the fine-tuning was still going on, uh, I got another issue, which is how do you verify, even after the fine-tuning, how do you verify the accuracy of the output of LAMA? This has changed my project completely and I deviated completely and then I met Sawa. Then we were trying to build uh, proofs. Whenever uh, GPT-4 or any of these models makes a statement, when we try to get the formal proof in one of the functional programming languages like Lean, and then we keep reprompting it through agents until the code is compiled. And some of the things cannot be written in formal mathematics, and those things can be written in differential equations, and then we use differential equation solvers to get the solutions. So this is just a theoretical experiment that there is a way to uh, theoretically prove that the output is 100% accurate, uh, but a lot needs to be built. We need to combine all these pipelines uh, so that all these agents would uh, auto-query the drug discovery databases to view potential candidates for targets. But for right now, all we have is this. You can go to this website and ask any aging or health-related questions. Uh, and you can see the answers along with the sources. And it's also integrated with uh, WhatsApp. So you can just ping me. So you can just ping me on WhatsApp. Uh, this is it. Any questions? Yeah, so uh, you mentioned the differential solver. Is, is, it, is it like an external API 
Yeah, it is the external differential solvers, and we take the uh, errors that the external programming languages give, and from that error, uh, really in a textual format. How do you know that output uh, from that equation is accurate? Uh, so the output from the equation, uh, you mean the differential equation yeah. output? Yeah, we would get some boundary conditions. Uh, so once you put the solutions of the boundary conditions, each one of them is an individual statement. And either you need to proofread that statement or you will have to convert the statement into a formal uh, language. Uh, like, like how we can convert any theorem into a formal language using first order predicate logic and it generates a proof. So now eventually a human has to read it and then uh, has to verify whether this proof is what we are really talking about. But the proof is consistent. I will follow up offline. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I also wanted to do this indexing on the entire Sci-Hub. So, uh, so I got access to the 40 terabytes uh, Sci-Hub, uh, all the papers. Uh, but it is uh, way too much and we need way many more credits to ground all the paragraphs uh, in Sci-Hub. So if anyone of you is interested to follow up on doing that, uh, we can do it first on all archive. And then if it is legal, I do not know the legality of using Sci-Hub, so we have to discover that. Uh, 